after this long journey on the road, suddenly we are in front of Arunachala, like a great mother. We really feel a great homecoming. My heart is so, so happy to be walking on the land of Tiruvannamalai again and seeing all these wonderful beings, people who have really been so close to over the years and had not seen them for so long. To just walk amongst them again, to, to, to feel, to feel them, to hug them, to look into their bright and glowing eyes, and to feel this, this pulse of life that is so much in my own heart, the love that they have for me in their heart, and the love that I have in my heart, it's just one. And it's really a joy in this moment, it's abundant joy for me. Shiva, 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 Shiva. Oh, you know, it's so great to see when I left here many of the children that were here. I'm surprised to see they are now adults. And some of them have children of their own. It's so amazing. Some of them, they bring their children to me. Like, I really feel like grandfather or something. I just got message. Oh. Yes, you're in two. This is fantastic. Today we have begun our yatra, uh -huh. actually, and we. Yeah. Your blessings are with uh, us. Oh, great. We have to sit on this street. Come yeah. on. See the miracle. Now you have to believe in miracles. <laughs> Miracles are always here. See! <laughs> After coming here, I understood your meditations and stuff. Unknowingly, it's pouring in me that what you are giving that satsang. Now, automatically, it's coming to me what you are saying. Last night, I was just experiencing everything. I know why we have come to this birth. It should not be wasted. I understood. Please bless us that we should experience the universe that we are actually in our original state. We should come. This original state, uh, I bless that you find that very clearly uh, as soon as it is possible. Arunachala, 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 Arunachala. Many people come to this place, to do Vanamalaya, you know? What's beautiful, you see the life of people who live here just happening in a very natural way. And yet, with the full moon, people come, thousands, millions sometimes come to walk around this mountain in this production of walking clockwise around this mountain because they receive so much grace and blessing from the mountain of Karnacha.
teachings and the many insights into his life spoken from his own lips and from those of his close devotees really is a very rich treasure that they have left as a legacy to this world. Great good fortune has fallen upon me. Thank you, Ramana Maharshi. Surely, it is by the grace of Bhagwan, by the grace of Arunachala, that I am here again in this blessed and holy place, to be again amongst the people of Tiruvannamalai, to be in this warmth, this genuine love, genuine friendship, to be in the company of those who love God and venerate the truth. My heart is full to have this privilege to be here, a place that has never left my heart nor its people. Magnificent are you, O oh, Lord Shiva. And thank you, thank you. Thank you, Sri Yogi Ramasurat Kumar. Thank you, Sri Ramana Maharishi. Thank you, Papaji. Thank you for this love. And may it continue also to spread amongst your own people in the way that you've shown me. I love you. And I'm with you. Amen. Inspire Center and Inspire Standing for Integrated Spinal Rehabilitation. I was eight years old when I started playing cricket for the, the senior state team. I was thinking I was all that. I was a star, I was a prodigy, blah, blah. And in one second, everything was gone. Well, I broke my neck and I became completely paralyzed below the neck. My father was the one who said, okay, what's the big deal? It's the body. The body, everybody's body is going to go. You have something on fast forward. So you have more time to go in and find out that within you that can't be taken away. Every day, I am shown surrender. I am shown that you are not doing any of this. You just be there. The less you are there, the better it goes. Remember the time that you, you carried me up three flights of stairs? Yeah. Oh, wow, that was something. Well, I was a little bit fitter then. <laughs> but I was not as fit as I thought I was. Yeah, nearly So gave we were having time. satsang, and uh, we were having satsang three floors up in a very narrow staircase. 
I so much wanted Pretty to come to Satsang. I know she's been listening to Satsang for some time. And I felt that we were always asking, how can we get her in the chair all the way up to the top of the stairs? And I said, well, it's awkward with too many people involved. So I thought, yeah, I'll, I'll try and lift her. So we had a go and we started climbing these narrow stairs to go up to the top of the building. And it was really quite something, but I was determined, I, I'm going to get you to the top there. When we got to the top, finally, my whole body was just sort of like this, <laughs> control. And she was also just amazing that we, we actually made it. And uh, it was a big feeling for me that you, you could come to Satsang. I think you know? it was something else. It was something else altogether because I've spent so many years of my life in, in, in the home, totally isolated and I didn't want to come out. So yeah. you were not just bringing me up the stairs, I think you were bringing up my consciousness or something so that I can be part of this world and do something useful yeah. here while I'm here. I see this place, I've just walked through it with you and a few of our Sangha and I've seen, I can smell the potential and I can feel. I would just like to add uh, my own heart's blessing to say that may this continue to flower and to flourish and with your presence, your face, your image and uh, all that will come inspired, the life will proliferate and fill this place with joy and spirit and life and inspiration for everyone. Thank you so much. I'm very happy to come uh, after all this time. Long time I didn't come. I'm very happy to come today. When I see you, I feel like I've, I've always known you. And this is uh, and it's true also in my heart. You come also happy. You're happy. Yes. I'm also very happy. Well, thanks to Muji Baba for being here and uh, it's a wonderful moment for us. We started in 1994. Uh, uh, I started to work for children because I found many, many children in Tiruvannamalai were picking. I thought I should do something for these children. I started to take one child by another child. And now in Tiruvannamalai we run six children home with various category of children. So in a year, on average, we are reaching around 3,000 children in a year. That's what we do here. I came here 11 years ago when some of the older ones were only 
small babies here. I was immediately deeply touched by them coming to this place. Uh, I have traveled in many places around the world, been to many, many places, but I have to say this place is the most loving place I've been to all over the world. I feel in my heart that all of you, you are sent by God here for a very beautiful reason. From my heart, I bless that you find real happiness and joy and my heart will stay with you as long as it needs to. In India, they have a beautiful tradition that when a guest comes to your home, you treat them like God. Each member of the family will serve you until you're absolutely full, and they will not eat until you've left. And on this occasion, Guruji turned the tables around and insisted that we have the opportunity and the honor of serving them, and that we did with great joy. You want more? Thank you. After the food, after the food. You didn't ask us when we were thinking about it. We just kept putting it in. Yeah. No, no, after, no, no, you're having one now. <laughs> the way to do is to ask, but, uh, but still put it. <laughs> it's a very beautiful feeling to serve even more than to be served. It's very nice. We learn a lot, you know. Myself especially, I'm always looking. So I have some tips. Next time I come, I'll be very good. <laughs> I am very happy to have this opportunity to visit Amaji today. Her heart is uh, full of pure love for everybody. She is undoubtedly a great saint. I would say a divine manifestation of God's unconditional love for mankind. <laughs> So I came here today with several members of my Sangha and they all received her darshan with great joy. I love her dearly.
Kanapa Temple is a very small temple at the foot of Arunachala. It's quite a um, hidden place. Many people don't know about it. But since my first time in Tiru in 1993, I discovered this place and would often come here on my morning walks. I love this place. It's so wonderful to be able to visit it again. It is so dear to me because of the tremendous devotion and love that Sage Kanapa had for uh, Lord Shiva. And that has remained in my heart in such a powerful way. How blessed we are that we can come to such a holy place. Jai Kanapa, Jai Lord Shiva. Master Sri Yogi Ram Surat Kumar in his small house. And I was very touched by the warmth and the love that he received me with, and uh, that will never leave me. I have great love for this Master and for Ma Devaki, his uh, close attendant and servant. And to this day, this connection has remained alive as it was from the very first moment. Thank you, Sri Bhagwan. Ram Surat Kumar's grace, I am brought here at his holy ashram and feet. I have taken Sri Bhagwan's darshan through Devakima and uh, Yogiji's servant lovers. May we all continue to receive Bhagwan's holy blessings wherever we find ourselves in this life. Jay Bhagwan. Arun 
Aruna Shala Shiva Aruna Shala Shiva Aruna Shala Shiva Aruna Shala 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 Aruna Challa Aruna Challa This is Mr. Vitri, he is the owner of Rice Mill. This was where we were for many years coming to Rice Mill. That last time was maybe eight years ago. And then about two months ago, three months ago? Two months ago. Two months ago. I was in, uh, we are back home in Monte Sarasha, the ashram there in Portugal. And I heard uh, that Mr. Vitri wants to come and see you. <laughs> That's not really. So there he showed up in Matasaja with his son in law. And they came. I said, What is this? I was not expecting at all. He came and he said to me, uh, Mujibaba, I've come to invite you back to Tirumanamalai because many people ask about you and they want you to come. Then he says goodbye. We see you. So see you in Tirunamalai. <laughs> <laughs> and then he started to come. I kept seeing his face. <laughs> Mr. Vichy, you come to Tirunamalai. I'm not trying to want you. I think we should go to. It. Then we all came here. When you ask nothing, you receive it all. When you keep quiet, it will open the door And then the silence might speak from its source But I have to warn you, it's a duty of mine That you disappear into greater high And there is no regrets for the highest force Stop planning the life so much ahead of the time and Enjoy every moment here and now Because life is a joy, life is a game A divine dream, a beautiful play Unfolding every moment in front of your eyes When you stop planning the life so much Ahead of the time you may find a little space to discover who If it should end right now, it'd be totally fine. Because contentment, peace, and love remain. Remain. Stop planning the life so much. Ahead of the time and enjoy every moment here and now Because life is a joy, life is a game A divine dream, a beautiful play Unfolding every moment in front of your eyes Stop planning the life so much Ahead of the time and enjoy every moment Life is a joy, life is a game, a divine dream, a beautiful play, unfolding every moment in front of your eyes. In front of your eyes. And inside your heart. If truth is what you are searching for, there's not a lot of things you have to learn, actually. You are here in the very energy field of satsang, so your earnestness is visible to the Supreme Self. No? There must be somebody, even if it's only one. And then the earnest seeker must feel, I am that one. 
Suppose you had five minutes with the Buddha, five minutes with Christ, with Lord Ram or Lord Krishna or Sri Ramana Maharshi, five minutes alone. What is likely to happen in these five minutes? What would you wish? Put yourself in that position. Don't pay any attention to any, anyone in this room, not even to me. Just remain shapeless. Don't touch even the sense of waiting for something or expecting anything at all. So that there is no future concept about future, leave it alone. Or any remembering of past, don't touch it at all. Nothing to imagine, nothing to visualize or to create. There is no Buddha outside of you. Forget about the person. The person is only a myth, a rumor. Don't touch any shape, any form. Don't waste any more time with thinking. And there is nothing to figure out. If you wish, you may hand over everything to grace. It is your Higher Self. Don't combine yourself with anything at all. What is truly here cannot fade, cannot go away. It cannot die. It cannot be sick. It is not afraid. It is not a judgment. It is not an exercise. Yourself is not an event. It is not a happening. You are here before even the first thought comes. And when hundreds of thoughts come, you are still the same one who is here. When they all go, you are still the same one who is here. You are not a thought. That's why you are able to observe their play. Everything is moving, except that which you are, unchanging. All of this, just emptiness dancing. This field of silence that is here, to whom does it belong? This is not something you will do or create. Only notice it. Acknowledge it. Love it. Enjoy. Be. Thank you.